Hello everyone. My name is Nitin. I am a SAP Certified Development Professional. I am taking a course on SAP Hybris. In this course, I am covering all the topics of Hybris, starting from the basic to advanced. This is a brief about myself. I work as a Senior Hybris Developer. And this is my email id nitin.hybris at the rate gmail.com you can reach out to me over this email if you have any doubts or concerns regarding this course or regarding this particular topic the topic which i'm covering today is hot folder so in this talk in this lecture we'll be covering the overview of hot folder implementation and the working of hot folder that means i'll talk about what a hot folder is and what it comprises of how we can implement the hot folder on our local system and how it works like the data import so if i talk about the overview of hot folder hot folder is a functionality which is provided by hybris and it is very good to import and feed data into hybris it is based upon spring integration framework highly configurable and easy to extend it is faster than the regular impacts import so we can import the data using uh, impacts is also but hot folder is a little bit faster as compared to the regular impacts import so hot folder is used for importing data what hot folder does is it takes a csv which is having the data converts it into the impacts internally and then imports that impacts to database so hot folder has certain uh, components so these are the components of a hot folder hot folder is having an inbound channel adapter uh, which will watch the csv which is coming to that folder second one is the file order comparator file order comparator will compare the file which is recently received to the previously existing files which are there in the same folder next is the header setup task so we need to uh, set up a header in which we will give some basic information regarding that file that is the catalog or any any macros which we want to give we will give it into the header setup task next is the header init task it what it will do is it will extract the sequence and the language of the file and add it to the batch header batch header means the header setup task so in this batch header it will uh, like attach the sequence and the language of a file which we will give so for example if we have our file is product hyphen ar hyphen 123 that means it will have the sequence as one two three and ar will be the language of it next is the header impex transformer task as the name suggests it will convert the original csv which we have given into that folder to impex now impex another task what it will do it will import that generated impex into hybris by using import data function of import service so this is the method it will use this method to import that impex which is created internally by hot folder next is the cleanup task cleanup task will archive the original csv which is uh, which we put at the time of import we'll see the implementation also, also so this is an overview and i'll show the full implementation of hot folder st st from starting itself so these are some steps to implement hot folder first of all we need to create an xml file in training core extension I'll, I'll prepare it for you and i'll show it how we can prepare that file and what we need to enter into it next we need to configure the xml file in training core spring.xml so this file need to be picked so we need to mention it into the training core spring.xml file we need to make an entry basically then we'll do end clean all and server start after this we will prepare our csv which we need to import and place it parallel to the processing folder then it will get imported and we will see how uh, the data which we have created okay so if i'll talk about the implementation in implementation first of all we need to mention one base directory where we will put the csv in, and all this configuration will be in the spring file which we we will create so i'll show that file also uh, just for uh, like having a brief idea about what we are going to do and um, i have written it down so we will give, give a base directory to where they will put the csv file we will initiate our flow with the catalog and base directory we need to give the catalog and we will give the base directory also to the init method this had a head set task when we do the header set task and then we need to create one impex converter and associate it with the converter mapping so these are the three steps broadly these are the three steps so till here the first and second steps 
all these are provided by Habris out of the box. So when you set up a store, you will find this XML already being created and you can take help of that from that XML and then you can copy that code and paste it into your file which you, which you will create and after that you just need to create one impacts converter and the and associate it with the converter mapping mapping converter sorry okay so I'll go to my code now so this is the code so if I talk about where we gonna to create our file so we will create our file in training core resources and the training core integration folder so this will be the path in integration folder we will create our xml file that will be hot hyphen folder hyphen store hyphen trading hyphen spring.xml so if you go to the same folder you will see the electronics spring hot folder file also so this is provided by out of the, of the box hybrids which i was telling in this so these two steps are already being done into this xml file so till here you can just copy it and paste it directly into your own file which you have created but you need to change some uh, some configurations related to your project so my project name is trading so what i have did is i just copied till here till the yeah till the base directory and i have pasted it here now after this what I have done is I have changed the name of my base directory ID actually base directory training and I have given the training folder in front of it instead of electronics folder which was there so I have just changed the electronics thing to training so this is a very basic step you need to give the base directory and in base directory you need to give the inbound after base directory you need to give inbound channel adapter which will take the file name regex that means it will uh, compare your it will find your file as per this regex and you need to give the file order comparator that means it will compare your file based upon by matching this regex after this you need to give the outbound gateway so outbound gateway will be when your file is processing you need to you need to move your file from the base directory to the processing directory where it will get processed so that you are aware okay these are the files which are in process so you just create one folder processing by the name of processing and put it into uh, uh, like, uh, mention this into this directory after this you just need to create one service activator this service activator what it serves it serves as the training header setup task like the header setup task which i have mentioned here header setup task so in this header setup task this is a batch header which will have some basic information about the file which is going to come so this is the header setup task so basically this is the reference to that bean here so in this you just mention the class as header setup task out of the box then we need to mention the catalog and the store based directory so this is the base directory of yours so these things are already till here or everything is provided by hybris out of the box after this your your work will start basically so that is the main part of this uh, this video we need to create one converter mapping and we need to map it to the converter so this is the this is one bean which is being created by me and its name is training product converter mapping we need to give the class of it that it will be default converter mapping we need to mention which item type we are going to map that means which which item type we are going to import <coughs> so i am creating a new product so the mapping will be product and we need to give the converter reference that means we need to create one converter and we need to give the, its reference here as I said, so we need will create one impact converter and give it. We will associate it with the mapping of that converter mapping. So now I have created one converter mapping. We will uh, uh, converter mapping. I have given the converter a reference here. So this is my converter. So when I try to create one converter, what I did is, I it is having two properties. One one first first is the header. Second one is the impact row. In the header you just mention what data you want to import so insert update product is my item type you just give the code name yeah, and whatever data you want to import just give it as a header what what you did do in the impacts also when you create an impacts you just need to give the header after that you will give the impacts row property in this in this you need to put the value according to the header which you have given here so if i talk about zero so zeroth column will be the code 
second one first one will be the name second one will be the en and likewise so if i talk about importing so whatever my the first column into my csv it will serve as a code whatever will be the second column will serve as the name and so on so now i have created one converter i have put one mapping also now the next task is creating the impex header so this impex header will serve as the macro basically so we need to give the macros that's it. that means whatever common information is there into the <coughs> impact so sorry whatever the common uh, information is there in impacts we, we mention it here likewise we need to mention in the product impacts header so this is the impacts header which i've created so here i have given this version and the product catalog catalog version language and approval status everything i this from here i have used in it in my header also catalog version and approved lang like this so this is the basic impex so if i talk about in the it talk in the layman language this is just an impex this is the mac these are the macros this is the header and these are the columns which we i will import the only difference is that these columns will be picked from the csv so what i did first was the preparing of the file imports this i have copied from the existing out of the box file from here next one was creating the base directory id which is also there in the out of the box so i just change it change the name and the location of it you can change this location by a property file also so this is the property accelerator services dot batch dot impacts dot base folder you can change your base directory from here whatever directory you will give here it will serve as your base directory now we i have created one inbound channel this inbound channel is also provided by out of the box hybrids which, which will have the regex and the file comparator <coughs> after this i have created this outbound gateway which is also there in out of the box hybrids the out of the box outbound gateway next is the service activator till here there was no uh, nothing which i have written from my side everything was there provided by out of the box hybris and this is the best part of hybris it provides you most of the functionalities you just need to customize it according to you so here i have customized it that means i have changed the base directory name as per my product project sorry okay after this i just need to mention the converter and the converter mapping this is the uh, this is something which i have created so i have created one bean i have given the class of it i have mentioned the header and the second property was impex row i have mentioned the columns also after this i have created the converter so in the converter i have given the default converter mapping sorry converter mapping actually i have given the class i have given what item type i need to mention i i need to import and i have given the reference of the converter also that okay this is my mapping and this mapping is of product and the training product converter so training product converter is this one after this i need to add this newly created file which i have created here training out folder training store training spring.xml into the training core spring.xml file i just need to mention one entry import resource equal to class path slash training core integration hot folder spring uh, training spring.xml so this is nothing but my file if you want to know uh, where i got uh, got to know about this one so if you see out of the box hybris provides the import of the existing files like the electronics one just copy this line paste it in the end and mention your file that's it you just need to mention your file here okay so after this you need to do end clean all and start your server and congratulations your hot folder implementation is done so in the next step will be just preparing one csv and importing it into your address database so let's go to my okay i'll go to my back office so i'll search for some code some product basically so let's say one two three four five six this is my product i start searching of it and i do not find this product now what i'll do is i'll create this product by using hot folder i have created one csv here so now what i'll do is i'll modify my csv i'll create this one two three four five six product like this so i've given the name en 
manufacturer name, manufacturer ID and save it. I'll paste this file into my base directory. Copy it from here. Go to my base directory and paste it here. So once I paste it here, it is picked now. So it will move to archive. And if I see in my back office, I will be having the product related. So earlier when I searched for this product, it was not there. If I search again, so this is my article number 123456. This is the product which is being created. So here, if I see the article number, identifier, approval status, whatever data I give into this CSV, it is there. So if I check about the manufacturer name, okay. So my manufacturer AID and the manufacturer name are here. So if you see here, yeah, what I have created. I have created one product whose code is 123456. This is its name, the EN, manufacturer name and manufacturer ID. All these things are imported. And what I did is, I just created one CSV, placed it there into the base directory and it is picked automatically by a hot, fo hot folder and then it is imported. So if I show you the logs also, it will show us the import which we have done see here so this is the base from this is the csv which is being picked by hot folder and it is imported internally by hybris so congratulations you have done your hot folder implementation and you have created your first product by using hot folder so this is my email id nithin.hybris at the red gmail.com you can reach out to me on this email if you have any questions or concerns regarding this particular topic or regarding the training course which i'm providing thank you and i'll request you to for, provide your honest feedback whether it is positive or negative both of the feedbacks are necessary for me so that i can make better content for you from in in the upcoming lectures Thank you and have a nice day.